In a South American country where two men, a window dresser from a department store, and a political prisoner share a small cell. In order to endure his confinement, the window dresser escapes into his own world of fantasy. The world of the movie musicals. After my father died, my mother had to work nights as an usherette in a cinema. She never complained. I, of course, adored it. It was a fabulous cinema. It had Egyptian decor. Since there was no one to look after me, she took me with her when she went to work. And she sat me in the front row. That's when I first saw my Aurora. <coughs> Shut up, you fool. Listen. Oh, I don't hear what I don't want to hear. They're bringing a prisoner back from interrogation. They're going to make us look at him to frighten us. Well, I look. But I don't see. Deaf, dumb, and blind. You take my advice, Mr. Revolutionary. When you feel you've gone to hell in a handbasket, and the world in which you dwells no paradise, I have some counsel I can give. You need but ask it. I'm so very glad to share this good advice. You've got to learn how not to be where you are. The more you face the reality, the more you scar. So close your eyes and you can be a movie star. Why must you stay? You've got to learn how not to see what you see. The slice of hell you call your life is harsh and mean. So why not lie beside me on a movie screen? Why must you see what you've seen? And if you find that you land in jail, a little fantasy will not fail. It's just as simple as ABC. Come on in. Play with me. Play with me. You've got to learn how not to do what you've done. The pistol shot can't kill if you unload the gun. So build a palace where you're the shark. And we'll embrace in that Shangri-La if you run away.